So your first card here is your spiritual issue. And this is about recognizing that there are signs coming to you through nature. But, you know, I'm going to take this a step further and say not just nature. So I feel like for the month of August, you know, what you guys are, what your higher selves are trying to tell you is that you might be going through a rough time and maybe you're like, you know, I really wish really wish I could get some indicators here or somebody point me in the right direction. Um, you're getting signs, but maybe you're not paying attention to them or not realizing it because, you know, I guess they're not really going to be obvious. You just have to recognize it as a sign. Did you guys ever watch that movie Fools Rush In? Um, there's a scene in there where there's like a, a priest standing in the rain or something and he's like, the signs are everywhere. Uh, it's really funny, but that's, you know, that's what I'm getting. The signs are everywhere. If you've been asking for signs, heck, even this could be a sign that what you're wondering is a sign is a sign. Try saying that 10 times fast. So signs can come about in many ways. If you wake up in the morning and you've got a song stuck in your head and you're wondering how the heck did that song get stuck in my head? I haven't even heard it in a while. Google the lyrics. That's a sign. Read what it says. And somewhere in the lyrics, there's going to be a clue. Something's going to jump out at you and resonate and you're going to recognize, oh, that's it. And for my two favorite Geminis, my two, two of my favorite people in the world, because I tell them this all the time. I hope they watch this. And this goes for all of you guys too. Pay attention to the numbers that you keep seeing. Now, I know people are always talking about repeating numbers, you know, like 222, 333, 444, but also numbers that repeat, like your birthday number, your brother's birthday number, your dad's birthday number, your wedding anniversary, even if you're not married anymore. These numbers are trying to get your attention. You keep seeing the number 1234 every day, right? You're like, does that mean it's just lunchtime? Am I hungry? Or why do I keep seeing 1234? Is it habit? Well, just as an example, 1234 is a sign that you're, like, your steps, you're taking steps, and that things happen in, in steps right? Um, for numbers, Doreen Virtue has a good book, Angel Numbers 101. And then also I like on the internet is Joanne Scribes. Check out her, her website. She has an index of lots of numbers. The only difference is that like her numbers go much more in depth and a lot higher than Doreen Virtue's book. Let's see, how do other signs come? Smelling. You might smell... A wet dog after your dog has passed. That's your your beloved pet coming through to you. Maybe the perfume that grandma used to wear, even though she's no longer around. Coins, feathers. They're, your guides are trying to send you messages, but you're not recognizing that the messages are messages. So for, for August, it seems like they just really want you to understand that how signs come through. And how you can best heal this. Don't be afraid. You... Give me a second, please. What are you guys afraid of? What is there to fear? What are you fearing? Are you afraid that you might be mistaking a sign? If you're, if you're wondering if it's a sign, then it's probably a sign. 
And you don't need to be afraid or consider, if I follow this as a sign, am I making a mistake? More than likely not. And then if this doesn't have anything to do with signs, I feel like the message is really to not be afraid on your life path. And maybe it's the signs, I'm sorry about that. It's the signs that have been trying to encourage you to keep moving forward. All right, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that, it was starting to rain. So I shifted back inside. But what this card is saying, I'm feeling like wherever you are on your life path and your journey, something has got you worried. Maybe you're afraid that you're not going to be able to make the bills. Maybe you're afraid because there are people counting on you. And I, I feel like you've been maybe asking for signs and praying for help and calling out and reaching out to the spirit world. And that includes, you know, angels and God and whatever deity you worship or pray to or you meditate because you have been afraid. This message is coming to let you know that you don't need to be afraid because you are protected. Whatever, whatever big changes or shifts are occurring in your life, they're supposed to happen. That rug that's being pulled out from underneath you and that's got you landing with your butt hitting the floor or you feel like you're about to, it's supposed to happen. It's to get you on the right track. Everything that occurs, everything that happens is to help get you and to keep you in alignment with your true soul purpose. And if you're fighting it, then things might seem shakier. Life might be a little more unstable. Your, think about what brings you joy. Think about what brings you happiness. And this could be in love, in, um, in, in your work, in your career, your life path, spirituality. Your soul knows the truth, right? Whereas your mind, your brain <laughs> has all sort of defenses. I mean, that's why we have psychology and psychiatry. I'm not sure what the difference is, but right. Because our brains are so complex, so complicated that they can often get in the way of our soul. But the one thing that you can always count on is that joy, true, true, true joy will never lead you in the wrong direction. So if you have been contemplating changes, if you are wondering if this is the right relationship for you, if you're wondering, can I make it if I try to turn my hobby into a passion? All you have to think about is, does it bring you joy? And you have no need to be afraid because the divine is in the joy. And that means that you are closer to the divine. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay. This next card is the gift. This card has so many messages for you guys. So first, if you have in fact lost loved ones 
a lot of loved ones, a lot of friends, or any, it doesn't even matter. And you might be sad and it feels like a hole in your heart because maybe you thought they were too young. Maybe you feel like they were just starting to, to fight the illness or they hadn't yet been able to prepare something. I don't know, a will, prepare something for their loved ones. To, the, to us, the humans, to the world, it might, might have seemed as if things ended shortly or abruptly or that it left a lot of chaos. But for that soul, that was the time that that soul was supposed to head back to the other side. It was part of their soul contract. The other message here is that any loss that you're going through, again, loss in a relationship, loss of a career or a job, even if it was at the hands of someone else, maybe someone stole something from you, stole your livelihood, stole a career from you, any loss that you've been grieving over, trying to recover from, know that that too was meant to leave your life and at that time. It might have been what you needed at one point. For example, a job, it might have been what you needed to get you from point A to point B. But that job is no longer going to get you from point B to point C. So the divine had to take it away from you so that something better could be replaced. And understanding that and learning that, knowing that is what part of the gift is for you in August. Part of it and it might not, it's definitely not going to feel like it, but having something taken away from you this month, despite the pain that it's going to cause, is meant to occur. That is the divine time that it is supposed to leave your life. This could be an individual also. But, I mean, in like a relationship, you know, that might end. But know that, that that loss, that ending, that is a gift because it's, it's about as in your face as, as God can be to tell you this is not doing you any good anymore. And then the other half of that gift is to understand and to know that. Okay, um, the opportunity for you. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Again, this is so many meanings. That loss is not completely gone. It's not... I don't want to give anybody, like, any, any hope of, you know, a possible, let me give you an example. So say there's a relationship that you are losing. Maybe somebody's leaving you. Maybe you're going through a divorce. You are, it's not going to kill you. And I'm not trying to say that to be callous, but it's actually going to leave you lighter and you won't realize it. It's, you see this beautiful dove. So how I'm trying to explain it to you is imagine like you're a scuba diver, right? And I feel like I know they carry weights to be able to stay 
submerged. And it's like you've been trying to, your soul has been trying to get up for oxygen, to get up out of the water, to break through that water, to get that oxygen and fresh air. But those weights have been holding you down. You needed those weights because you needed to stay submerged for a while, but now it's killing you. And it's going to be challenging for you to see that when those weights have been clipped off, you are going to shoot up towards the surface and be able to take that gasp of fresh air. It's not like those weights, it's not going to kill you. Losing that is not going to kill you. It might, it might feel like it, but it's not. Also, any, any loss, this is what I was trying to say earlier about not trying to give you guys hope in, in a certain sense. Any loss is not really loss. That's the illusion. One, individuals, when they pass over, they don't truly die. Their, their body is done and over with, just the same way like an old car would be, right? But your body is the vehicle for your soul, just like the car is the vehicle for your body. And, I mean, there just comes a point when it's time that that vehicle is no longer serving you. So even though the vehicle might be done with, the driver continues on. That soul is on the other side and is not actually done with its existence. The same goes for relationships. For some of you guys, I feel like this is a very specific message. And I'm almost afraid to say it because I don't want to give every single person hope. Because that could be of something bad. But for some of you guys, very, very specific, maybe person or even a few of you, something that you are being parted from, it's more like a temporary parting. So whereas you might think maybe a career or relationship is over, it's, I feel like it's not. I feel like it's being put on pause. And this is the opportunity for you to go your separate ways, to learn, to grow, and then rejoin at a future time when both parties are ready for each other. And that could be like a break from a job to pursue a hobby or a passion. And then maybe you don't even realize it, but in the future that new knowledge is going to help with your career. So it's like ending, ending your, quitting your job, going back to school, that particular career industry, although it might feel like it's over, it's really being put on pause while you further your education. And then when you're done furthering your education, not only have you had a chance to grow and learn, that industry has had a chance to change and grow also. And then by the time you're done with school, it's like your career industry and you are both further along the path and better prepared to, to rejoin again, if that makes sense. So this is an opportunity, this parting of ways. But regardless of what you specifically are going through, you are ascending. You are you are getting closer to your soul's true purpose. That's for sure. Especially just look at this card. It's so powerful. I like, I feel this inside of me, like so much joy and like radiance, especially for the, for me, like the dove represents spirit, Holy spirit, right? Not like grandpa Joe that passed away, but 
the divine in spirit form. Yeah. Maybe you thought that your relationship with, with God was done or useless or over, but it's not. That's what that card is saying. That Holy Spirit, not just Spirit, Holy Spirit is not dead. That relationship between you and the divine is not gone, is not dead. It's always there. And it's, it's, it's ascending. I feel like it's getting stronger. Wow, Gemini. This is a really deep reading. And special guidance for you. <laughs> I will always point you in the right direction. So. Animals just trust their instinct, right? I'll scratch that. This isn't even about animals. This is about Holy Spirit. Not, not your best friend that passed away that might be coming to you in dreams, who is in spirit, who, you know, spirit. This is about Holy Spirit. The divine in spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will never lead you astray. Holy Spirit will always point you in the right direction, which is why you need not be afraid. Even if you see those rocks coming at you, you know when you trust that Spirit wouldn't be pointing you in that direction if there wasn't a reason. You might not be able to see it, but there might be shelter in that like little cove or something. Be brave. Okay, Gemini, let's do a recap. The spiritual issue for you at hand is to recognize that you are getting messages and signs. Now, the messages, aside from what I mentioned earlier, this could be like little insights what you might consider a great idea that you just had or uh, inspiration or somebody popping their name into your head or a song on the radio that you can't get out of your head, right? Um, you are getting a lot of signs and messages, but you need to pay attention and recognize them and stop doubting and stop being skeptical. 